Hey, how's your day? Today I'd like to talk about portraits, family portraits, your kids' school pictures, whatever you wish. Now, if you're not comfortable making selections to change different things in those pictures, let's go into Camera Raw and do it. The most recent version of Camera Raw, 15.1.1, is what I'm using, is the best way to go in, have it make the masks for you, and make multiple changes with the newest version, which is so advanced, it's got curves in it now. Well done, Adobe. Am I sponsor from Adobe? No. Would I like to be? Uh, yeah. So let's go and check out all the new advanced features in Camera Raw, and it'll change your portraits the way you'd like them to be. I got my cat my coffee. Let's get on it. Cool. Like I said, I'm gonna work with a portrait today. I've got a picture of my beautiful friend, and I wanna show you what you can do with a portrait and all the different things with the advanced masking of Camera Raw. Let's dive into it here. So first we'll copy the layer, and we'll make it a smart object and go into Camera Raw. All right, now we're in Camera Raw. The first thing we wanna do is go over here to the masking. Hold your button down and hit Select People. It'll find the person in the portrait and make a check mark in every one of the different options. And hit Create Eight Separate Masks. And Create. And bam, it'll do it for you. Everything. Hair, teeth, lips, the iris and the pupil, the eye sclera, the eyebrows, the body skin, the face skin, everything. And we can alter everything that we want. So let's say that a person wasn't happy with their hair. Let's hit Y to toggle the mask. And the first thing you can do, if you wish, is reduce the exposure or make it lighter or darker. You can, of course, bring down your highlights, bring up your shadows a bit. Now, with the advent of adding curves inside of Camera Raw, there's almost nothing you can't do. So we'll take a quick look and we'll bring it up, we'll bring it down. What we'll do is we'll change the color of her hair just slightly. So what we'll do is we'll take the saturation and we'll bring it up a bit and we'll just change the color just slightly. There we go. Now, before, after. You can change it dramatically if you wish. And that's just the hair. Everything else can be altered. Let's go down the list. Person's teeth. We'll hit Y to toggle the mask. We'll go in here. And what I like to do a lot of the times is I like to bring down the saturation. Oh, about 16 there. And maybe bring up the highlights just a tad. Let's zoom in using control and equals. And you can see before, after, before, after. Now, control zero to zoom out. Now let's go to the next option here which are the lips. Now, let's hit Y to control the mask. Now, let's say we wanted to make them a little bit darker and maybe a different color. There we go. Like I said, the possibilities are endless here in Camera Raw for portraits or family pictures or your kids' pictures from school. Now, let's go to the iris and the pupil. Let's zoom in, and let's say we wanted to change the color. We'll make it a little bit of saturation. And we'll change the color of Danita's eyes. Maybe they're a little bit greener. Again, with curves, anything is possible. Let's bring it up a bit or bring it down a bit. There we go. That's a little bit different from what she was. Okay. The eye sclera, the white portion of your eye. We can bring up the highlights on that if you wish. Just a touch. We'll zoom out. Before, after, before, after. 
We're changing all kinds of stuff here. Okay, let's take a little bit of a break here to make sure our eyes can adjust and we'll go back in in a second. What I'd like to do, everybody to do is please like, subscribe, ring my bell for all future videos coming up. It's free. Thanks. This version of Camera Raw is the most advanced and the easiest to use to make all kinds of changes if you wish. Now, Danita's eyebrows. Well, I did notice that the mask is a bit off, so let's zoom in. And you can see on this side right here, it's a little much. So let's go to subtract and brush and just even it out and remove it. We'll zoom out, control zero, hit Y for the mask. Now, let's see. We wanted to change the saturation a little bit, bring our eyebrows out. Do the same possibly with the highlights and the shadows or just the exposure in general. Let's bring it back. And it darkens our eyebrows. All right, let's move to the body skin. Now, one thing I did notice in the mask is let's zoom in, spacebar for the hand tool so we can move it up one thing i noticed with the mask it kind of went into the necklace as well so what we can do is hit the subtract and go to select objects make it roughly the size or a little bit larger than the necklace and just draw over the necklace and it'll subtract it from the original mask bam now we can zoom in again just a bit and reduce our brush, hit subtract, brush, and just clean it up a bit. There, now let's zoom out. Now that the necklace won't affect what's going on in the body skin. So let's hit Y. Now, if you want, let's boop up the saturation just a bit. Maybe change the color just a bit of her skin tone of the body skin. Perfect. Now, this is the cool part. This is the face skin. I noticed over here, for some reason, the mask thought there was some skin over there. So, like we've done with the other layers, subtract, brush, make your brush large enough, and just get rid of it. All right. Now, Let's hit Y for the mask. And let's say we wanted to bring down the highlights a bit. Bring up the shadows, possibly the saturation, or let's go to curves. And we'll just bring it down just a tad. There, so we've used all the masks in the new camera raw, which is unbelievably cool. Now let's look. Before, after, before, after. You can change your portrait to how you would like to see it. So hit OK. And bam. New picture the way you would like it. Cool. Well, as you can see, there are way too many cool things you can do with your portraits. Family portraits, kids, school pictures. Now, there's nothing wrong with the picture that I used. I exaggerated the features to show you what's available with the different masks that are now available in Camera Raw. Very cool stuff. I'll be making more videos with Camera Raw showing you all kinds of different things that you can do to alter your photos. Thanks for sticking it out. See you soon.